Hello everyone, as we look ahead to the festive season our attention naturally turns to the weather. This year the conversation around our winter forecast is particularly important. The signs in the atmosphere are pointing towards a season that could be quite different from what we've grown used to in recent years. Understanding these changes is not just about satisfying our curiosity, it's about being prepared for what Mother Nature might have in store for us across the United Kingdom. Meteorologists at the Met Office are watching a combination of factors suggesting a colder and more unsettled period. This isn't a guarantee of snow for everyone, but it does increase the chances of colder snaps and disruptive weather. Over the next few minutes, we'll explore why the Met Office is predicting a colder start to winter and what this means for our daily lives. It's all about giving you the clearest possible picture so you can be ready for whatever the weather throw out. Andros Ulumbers in a Sauge Nord Dam and then Osnander. The Sauge Stendis December as Jureen Nam. Now, let's get straight to the heart of the matter. The latest long range forecast from the Met Office is pointing towards a December that is more likely to be colder than average for the UK. This prediction is based on sophisticated computer models that analyze vast amounts of data from around the globe. These models suggest high pressure is more likely to build to the north of the UK, particularly over areas like Greenland and Iceland. This setup opens the door for colder air to be drawn down from the north and east, directly from the Arctic or continental Europe. A higher chance of cold weather does not automatically translate into a country covered in a thick blanket of snow. However, with a greater likelihood of cold air being present, the chances of any precipitation falling as sleet or snow are increased. So, what does this mean for your day-to-day -day life in December? It suggests you should be prepared for more frequent frosts, especially overnight and in the early mornings. The key takeaway from the Met Office's outlook is simple. Get the big coat, scarf, and gloves ready, as they are likely to be your trusted companions this December. To really understand why our weather is set to change, we need to talk about something called the jet stream. Imagine a fast-flowing river of air, high up in the atmosphere, about the height that aeroplanes fly. The position and strength of the jet stream are the single biggest factors determining the kind of weather we experience here in the UK. Normally, during a typical UK winter, the jet stream flows in a relatively straight line, roaring across the Atlantic and aiming directly at us. The strong, flat jet stream acts like a conveyor belt, delivering a steady stream of low-pressure systems, or storms, from the ocean. However, the jet stream doesn't always flow in a straight line. Sometimes, it can weaken and become very wavy, developing large meanders or loops. This winter the forecast models are suggesting that the jet stream is much more likely to take one of these wavier meandering paths. Instead of a strong, straight flow, we are expecting it to become more buckled and sluggish. The position of these troughs and ridges in the jet stream will determine whether we are sitting in a plume of mild Atlantic air or a flow of frigid Arctic air. So, we know the jet stream is likely to become wavier, but what does that mean for us on the ground? The current predictions indicate that the jet stream is expected to shift its track further south than usual. This southerly shift is a game changer for our winter weather. It effectively moves that protective barrier of mild Atlantic air away from us, leaving the UK exposed on the colder northern side of the jet stream. When the UK finds itself to the north of the main jet stream core, it opens the door for a completely different type of weather. This allows cold air, which has been sitting over places like the Arctic, Scandinavia, or even Siberia, to be dragged directly towards our shores. This is the classic setup for a UK cold spell. The air is not only colder, but also much drier, leading to crisp, clear days with sharp frosts at night. It's this potential for prolonged cold, driven by the jet stream's new path, that makes this December's forecast so noteworthy. Now, you might be wondering what is causing the jet stream to behave so differently this year. One of the main culprits is a climate phenomenon with a rather gentle name, La Nina. La Nina is a natural climate pattern that occurs in the tropical Pacific Ocean, thousands of miles away from the UK. It involves the large-scale cooling of the ocean surface temperatures in the central and eastern parts of the tropical Pacific. This change in ocean temperature might seem distant, but it has a powerful domino effect on weather patterns right across the globe. This large area of cool water in the Pacific Ocean is like a giant air conditioner for the atmosphere above it. 
This disruption sends out ripples, or waves, through the atmosphere, that can travel for thousands of miles. These waves can interfere with the jet streams in both the northern and southern hemispheres, altering their strength and, crucially for us, their position. For the UK, La Nina has a reputation for increasing the chances of a colder and more blocked winter pattern. So, how exactly does La Nina's cooling of the Pacific Ocean translate into colder weather for someone in, say, Liverpool or Edinburgh? The atmospheric waves generated by La Nina travel northwards and disrupt the polar jet stream over the North Atlantic. Specifically, La Nina tends to encourage the jet stream to weaken and buckle favoring the development of those large, wavy meanders. This makes the jet stream more likely to get stuck in a pattern that brings colder air down towards the UK. One of the key effects of La Nina on our region is that it promotes the development of high pressure to the northwest of the UK, often near Greenland. With this block in place, the UK is cut off from its normal source of winter warmth. Instead, the winds are more likely to come from the chilly north or east, bringing Arctic or continental air our way. This is why La Nina winters often have a higher frequency of cold spells. La Nina doesn't guarantee this will happen, but it loads the dice in favor of a winter where these ingredients are more likely to come together. Let's translate this science into what it could mean for your daily life this December. With a higher chance of cold air from the north, one of the most common things we can expect is an increase in frosty mornings. In towns and cities from Belfast to Norwich, overnight temperatures are more likely to dip below freezing. This means you'll need to allow extra time in the morning to de-ice the car and be mindful of icy patches on pavements and untreated roads. While the dominant pattern may be colder and drier, we are still an island nation on the edge of the Atlantic so rain is never far away. The forecast suggests that when weather systems do arrive, they could bring heavy downpours. Heavy rainfall falling on already saturated ground from the autumn can quickly lead to an increased risk of flooding. The combination of cold air and incoming moisture also brings the potential for travel disruption. Being prepared for these practical impacts is the best way to navigate the challenges of a colder winter. To put this year's forecast into context, it's helpful to compare it to what we might call a typical UK winter of recent years. For much of the last decade, our winters have been dominated by a strong zonal jet stream flowing from the west. This has resulted in a succession of mild, wet, and often stormy seasons. This year, the outlook suggests a shift away from that familiar pattern. The increased likelihood of a blocked, meandering jet stream means we are less likely to see that relentless conveyor belt of Atlantic storms. Instead of persistent mildness, the pattern favors more frequent incursions of cold air from the north. This means the character of the winter could feel quite different. We might experience more days of crisp, cold sunshine, but also a greater risk of sharp frosts and freezing fog. This year, the atmosphere is writing a different story, and it's one that looks set to be significantly chillier. With a colder and potentially more disruptive winter on the horizon, the best thing we can all do is be prepared. The most crucial step is to stay updated with the latest weather forecasts. At home, now is the perfect time to do a quick winter check. Make sure your home is well insulated to keep the warmth in and your energy bills down. When you are out and about, dressing for the weather is key. Ensure your footwear has good grip to reduce the risk of slipping on icy pavements. And don't forget your car. Check your tires, top up your antifreeze and screen wash, and pack a winter emergency kit. Finally, a colder winter is a time to look out for each other. By taking these simple, practical steps, we can all prepare for the weeks ahead, ensuring we stay safe, warm, and ready to handle whatever this more traditional British winter decides to send our way.